up guys? It's so back with another makeup tutorial. Oh, oh. So this look, the whole mood is gonna be actually that's a good that's a good transition. This is gonna be with the Morphe 35M Boss Move Artistry Palette. So, I just want y'all to see what's on the inside of this package, babe. So, no, but for real, I got this because look at these cups. This right here is my gym. Hey, also, the girls are so many. Man, try to find my makeup cover. This right here is my. 35M. Ayy. 35M. Ayy. I'm lame, y'all, but at least I'm having fun. But anyway, we're gonna get into this kind of like dark, vampy, vampire-y color look. I don't really know. I don't really know where I'm going with this, but here go the, um, the names, and I'm gonna read them all. Apply them, so I'm gonna go in with Sweet Beats, which is this color right here. It's right here, and I'm gonna put that in the outside corner of my eye and bring it into the crease just a little bit. Oh shoot! No, we're not gonna do that first. We're gonna do this first. We're gonna go ahead and prime this eye so we can set down a base because we want these colors to melt. Melt together. Mm -hmm. I got stuff saying that y'all because that belongs to Miss Lovely T. That is not my word, but I love when she says this. So I had somebody ask me, because y'all know I already be having the eyebrows done on the screen. So someone asked me what do I use? Both my eyebrows. What do I use? And it is the NYX eyebrow gel, even though I don't think that's a gel. It actually feels like a cream. And I think I got it from and it was forty dollars. Only five dollars. So I'm just taking a little bit of concealer of concealer and putting it on top of my eye shadow primer. And we're gonna blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it. Sorry. Okay, somebody answer me this. Cause this is a real, for real, for real, for real, for real question of mine. I don't know how many people get heartburn. And when I get heartburn, I get hiccups. I don't know if that happens to anybody else. Remember there was a guy, this is an older guy that I work with, and he told me that um, when he gets heartburn, he gets the hiccups. And I do know that when I just hiccup, that it burnt like hellfire. But I'm not sure if that was what that's for, or am I hiccuping for another reason? So, um, now that I have laid down a concealer for the base of my eye, I'm going to go ahead and put, oh, the Sweet Beats color back into the corner of my eye. This is going to be real, real vampy, like Aaliyah. Queen of the Damned. Yes. I'm sorry. I know some people are gonna hate me, but I did not like that movie. I'm sorry. I thought it was garbage. I thought it was garbage. So I'm gonna bring it up just into a little 
bit of a point right in there. And we're gonna go in to the other side. Cause we've got friends on the other side. If y'all don't know where that song came from, it actually came from Disney's Princess and the Frog. Which that movie was a little tad bit different to me. Because I'm like, are y'all trying to like I mean, it's 2019, so I don't know. But my thing was like, are y'all trying to tell like the kids that it's like spirits? Mm -hmm. Never mind. Ain't my business. It ain't my business. So I'm going to take that same brush. Same brush. Actually, I don't want to use that brush. But I don't see the other one. Because they got friends on the other side. If y'all don't know where that song came from, it actually came from Disney's Princess in the Frog. This movie was a little tad bit different to me because I'm like, are y'all trying to like, mm, I don't know what that song is. But my thing was like, are y'all trying to tell like the kids that it's like spirits? Mm -hmm. Never mind. Ain't my business, it ain't my business. So I'm going to take that same brush, same brush. Actually, I don't want to use that brush. But I don't see the other one. I don't use it. So this is a basic fluffy brush. I'm sorry, but these are um, Coastal Scents brushes, and they don't have a name on them. So. It's the basic fluffy brush. But y'all, I'm getting ready to get a um, whole set with Morphe. Um, no, maybe with, um, maybe with um, Sigma. I like the Sigma brushes better. But now I'm going in with the color Sparks Fry. Sparks Fly, not Fry. Your girl must be hungry. And I'm gonna put that corners of my eye so on the outer corner and the inner corner now this makeup palette the um, 35m gloss palette is actually one of the palettes that is in the giveaway 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 so this look if you like it one of my winners is able to do the look and I'm so happy um, I know people are asking, actually I got a message from someone about the giveaway, um, and she was really passionate, and she was saying that she kind of gets upset that a lot of times the makeup, the contests are, like they will delete people who already have um, products already like Instagram will do which I'm hoping that Instagram is not doing that because who are you to say who I want in my contest or not um, but hearing that Instagram was deleting posts from people who already have I guess the products already or the knowledge of makeup already or something along those lines and um, not letting them enter but I I would have to say that I'm gonna beg to differ on them because I'm running this contest hold on I'm running this contest and I know who I want my target audience to be and I feel like Instagram doesn't have to say that yet they, um, you know, I guess they can control who they want to actually reach, but if you put in for this contest and sorry y'all, this next color is called Power Slayer it's right here and I'm going to put that right in the middle of my eyelid um but if you enter into this contest and you follow the rules, you have just as much of the opportunity as somebody who's been doing this for years. I'm not, I'm not going to 
eliminate somebody just because they have products already. Now, I'm not sure if you would really want to enter once you see what the products are, if you already have them, unless you, you know, for some reason want two of the same palettes. Um, but I would hope that if you do already have these palettes that you don't enter just to give somebody else who really doesn't have the palettes and doesn't really have a way to get them the opportunity because I would hate for you know you to just be stacking up on palettes and you got palettes on palettes on palettes on palettes and there was somebody right behind you who doesn't have any and then they're you know a creek without a paddle just because you wanted more stuff. So, I mean, that's not how I would operate, but one thing y'all will know is that everybody who has entered into this contest, I have looked at your Instagram or whatever social media it is that you followed me on, I am looking. Um, that's not to say that because you have this or you have that that you're being disqualified because I ain't it, but I am looking just to make sure, you know, that it's a real page out here trying to scam me scam me okay y'all so I, I got the bounce up outside of the 35 in powder because they don't have the brown I'm looking for y'all don't don't judge me because when you see this Jaclyn Hill palette you gonna be shook it shook it look at my palette y'all don't ask me what happens look your girl been using it Okay, <laughs> but um. anyway, I don't know the name of this color, but I'm going to go in with this color right here, and I'm going to put it in the crease. Mm -mm -mm. So any of my studies who have the Jacqueline Hill palette, let me know what this color is, because I don't know the names. I have the sheet that came with it, you know, when you first, when you first open the palette, but I don't like the Super fast, so I don't know. I don't know. So, and on to the next, on, on to the next, on to the next, on to the next one. Oh no! Oh, there it is. So, I'm about to put a metallic color into the middle of my eyelids. We gotta brighten this up. It's too much. It's too dark. So this one is called Color Person Person Persona. Your girl can't talk. So in case you peep it in the videos, I can't talk. Color Persona. Right here. Okay. So I was telling somebody at work, and they thought this was the most hilarious thing. Um, I can't think of the word. Oh. Uh, the, the the form of the past tense form of being authentic. Authentic. No, the form of being authentic. The one with the I T Y on the end. I can't say that word. Authenticity. Like I can say it like that, but if I try to say it all together, it's like I. Can, <laughs> we're gonna just say that because I can't. I can't. But we got friends on the other side. Okay, now, hey. This is another coastal sense, it doesn't have a name. But I'm gonna use this and go back in with that brown color that I just used off of the Jaclyn Hill palette and go right into the corners of my eyes and the outer part. So those are the two parts that we are trying to deepen right now. Right now. Cause we got friends on the other side. Uh, 
You know what I really like about people? And I was, I noticed this the other day. I love when, and some people probably hate this, but I love when um, people are listening to a song with me and they can tell when the song is sampled by another song. Like in the remake, like it was remade with a sample of another song. I'm getting ready to go into black magic on the inner and outer corners of my eyes. But I don't know, I just thought that is that's really cool, I guess, because it Ooh Lord. Something in my eye because it lets me know that you have an ear for music, which is you guys don't know. Girls, do music. Okay, so we're gonna take my fluffy brush and we gonna blend it on out. Um, a tip for blending: you do not want to just hold your brush really tightly because it's gonna cause you to have blotchy looking lines. You kind of wanna. Because down here, you'll float too. That's from it, which this look is giving me all kinds of types of uh, freakish clown vibes. I'm terrified of clowns. Don't like them. They are not my cup of tea. Um, I don't think they're funny. I just don't. I don't know who came up with that idea that clowns are funny because they're not and they don't look funny. They, they're scary. Um, this is that same brown, brown stick. Same brown color from the Jacqueline Hill palette. And I am going to do one other step that I wasn't really planning on doing, but I was going to be brightening up the eyelids a little bit because this is a bit dark for me. Um, I ain't asked for all this darkness, so don't come for me if I ain't stamp it. Darkness, go back to where you belong, to the pits of hell. No, I'm kidding y'all, but um, the color I'm going in with to brighten up is red carpet, which is right here, and I'm just going to, I um, only put a little bit on the brush, and I'm just going to lightly blend it into the dark colors. So just a little bit. So, and that is that. Take that dark color again from um, the Jacqueline Hill palette 
and go back in over all of this, the inner and outer corner and then the crease. And um, just really, really lightly. This brush is a little bit stiffer than the blending brush I was just using. So now, just a flat brush, flat tip brush to go into my under eye. Oh no, it's crushed the palette. But this color is by the party. Just a dent, like not even enough to make a dent. Even though I didn't. Chinning it over here. So, because it's dark, but we want to bring a little bit of color in. Though. We don't want it to just be out here. Dead. Dead, dead. I left. So for my face, the primer that I'm actually using is going to be Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer, matte, matte matte is what it's called. But I am an oily, oily, oil slick of a person. So your girl can't be out here just messing up and um, just doing anything when it comes to the primer. So I have to be really, really, really serious with matte primer because this is what my face will look like in the middle of the day with makeup if I do not put a matte primer. And it's hot outside y'all. And like right now I look like a raccoon. And it's okay. Cause we gonna fix it. We is gonna fix this one. So, those y'all, what the thing? That's been watching me for a minute. I have found a new foundation that I like. It doesn't feel like a whole huh, zit. Um, it doesn't feel like a whole get a foundation on my face so it's what I decided to use and it is I don't ever have the time to say anything y'all it is over there but it's the can't stop not stop mix full coverage foundation and the color I don't know no it's a um, CSWS L21 or Coco so For you guys that are um, worried about doing like eyeshadow and getting a lot of fallout, I always, always, always do my eyeshadow first. But that's not the tip I was going to give. The tip I was going to give is you can put tape right here under your eyeshadow. Right here. I don't know where to say this is. Um, to get that perfect crease line if you don't want to. Try to go back and sculpt it out to make sure it's perfect. Or you can um, do it this way, and then when you apply your concealer to do your baking, if you bake, you can make sure you put a really clean concealer line so that it cleans up any all edges for your makeup look and it gets all the fall out because I know for now your girl looks like a whole raccoon with all this darkness. What is darkness? Well we're gonna brighten it up.
need to apply a very, very light layer of foundation on top. Foundation on top. So, to go back in with my to my under eye with a very tight brush and smoke it out. Smoke it out. Smoke it out. And keep my lash.
And this is with the same black color that was in the end of the 35 and boss. What? I don't care about the boss palette. So, I didn't grab the lashes. So let's see what color we are going to use. Okay, that was easy. The color right here, it is pure gold. It's pop star right there. I'm gonna take my pinky and dip, 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 dip. God, I told ya. Who says that? Is he like the rain? I don't know who that is. Just a little bit of Finish the finishing touches to eyebrows, lipstick, and lashes off the screen. And then I'm gonna come back and you guys are gonna see the finishing look. Okay? We're gonna hit it with an uh, and hit it with an uh, uh, hit it with an uh, uh, hit it with an uh, uh. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. It's like 12 o'clock at night, in the morning, whichever one. And I'm fine. Get this done. And I will be back.